Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing Burlwood from House of Matriarch. This is a gorgeous, slightly waxy, fresh, spicy, woody fragrance from House of Matriarch. And I am excited to review it for you guys. So let's get into the video. First things first, I purchased this. This was not sent to me to review. And I was going to review this a lot sooner, but I actually misplaced the giveaway prize. because There was a giveaway. Rules for the giveaway will be at the end of the video. This is the travel atomizer for Burlwood. So I finally found it and I decided now it's time to review this fragrance for you guys. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with my channel, you guys know how much I love House of Matriarch, how much I love Christy. I've been a part of two projects with her. And I've talked about in depth how much I love how she just tackles nature. She really celebrates like trees and nature and flowers and flora and fauna in a way that I'm just so enraptured with. And Burlwood definitely celebrates it in a way that I find to be really beautiful and really fantastic. If you are a fan of her fragrances like Sex Magic, Madrona, if you are a fan of Ghazal or even The Longing or Sacre Noir, if you like the way that she tackles woods, I think you're gonna love this scent. Now this scent, in my opinion, leans a little bit more masculine shared than feminine but to me, nature is shared unisex. But when it comes down to notes, there is a heavy oak moss note in here. And I think people attribute oak moss to more shared or masculine fragrances, which is why I'm saying that, but I think this smells really sexy on everybody. So first I'm gonna give you the notes and then I'm gonna break down the fragrance. So in the top notes, you have virgin foliage and aromatic herbs. At the heart, you have peeling bark, sunshine accord, and madrona blossoms. And at the base, you have oak moss, noble woods, and fossilized ambers. I'm going to theorize, that doesn't mean I'm correct, but the herbs in here smell like they kind of lean almost like rosemary and tarragon and basil, more of a savory herb and less of something kind of like cinnamon or coriander, something that can lean more of hot or cold. The vibe it's giving is more savory. Now, this has a beautiful, fresh green spiciness, but an evergreen waxiness. And what I mean by that is, is if anyone has ever had like the evergreen trees, you know, like if you smell the leaves, they have that like deep green spicy waxiness. They kind of smell waxy. That's what this has. And I, I love it. There is a sunshine aspect to this fragrance without being Right. And what that does is it adds a bit of a clarity and a bit more of an oomph to the spiciness. This isn't going to be a fresh spicy fragrance in a way that aromatic woody spicy fragrances would be with the addition of say like black pepper or pink peppercorn or ginger or anything like that. It feels very authentic to walking through a very dense evergreen forest but not during the night, more during the daytime where there's like bits of sunshine shining through. That's what the Sunshine Accord does. It has a little bit of clarity, but it doesn't brighten it up. It's a very dense, woody experience. And I like how the woods in here are a mix between something semi-dry and slightly sappy. The resins in here from the amber, I find kind of mimic, very dry, um, kind of almost copal -y, um, resins and gums and things like that which add almost a nice smokiness with the woods but it doesn't take over the integrity of the trees and the floral and the greenness and everything else it's just really fantastic i really like it i think ultimately there's something really sexy about this without ruining the integrity of nature and that's something that i love what Christy does is she understands and really celebrates that nature is luxury, nature is beautiful, nature is per perfect sometimes. Sometimes nature is scary. I mean, if you go to Australia, like everything can kill you. But for the most part, nature is beautiful. <laughs> and I love celebrating nature and I love celebrating woods and green and the way nature can make you feel. And sometimes it's something dense and mysterious. And in Sacre Noir, it feels like you're walking through a gumdrop uh, enchanted forest. But what if that forest wasn't enchanted? What if there was no gumdrops? 
What if it was just a forest you walked through during the day, but at night, maybe maybe you could envision that forest being a little bit gumdroppy and enchanted. That's kind of like what this smells like. I love that there's a savoriness to the herbs in this that gives it a fresh spiciness in the background. But at the end of the day, this is green and beautiful and decadent and it just celebrates to me everything that a forest can be, which is both alive and active and green, but there's also something dry and evolving about it, about bark peeling off the trees and falling down on the ground, and there's a dryness to it, but it's also the trees protecting itself with sap. And there's different trees around you, so there's different aromas around you. You're not just smelling like one type of leaf. There's a lot of different layers on this fragrance, while at the same time it smells very aromatic, very sexy, and very appealing on the skin. I enjoy this one a lot. It's really beautiful. It's one I've enjoyed wearing. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like to there, to there. I've worn this one a bunch, actually. It's really beautiful, and I just really enjoy it a lot. Again, in my opinion, if I were to put this on the scale of men to women. It does lean more on the masculine side, again, because you do get that beautiful oak moss from start to finish. But at the end of the day, you can wear whatever you want. And if you enjoy more natural kind of outside nature smelling fragrances, if your idea of a woody aromatic fragrance is actually smelling like trees and natural aromatics, I think you're really going to enjoy Burlwood. It's really beautiful. So that is my review of Burlwood from House of Matriarch. It also has beautiful performance, moderate projection and sillage, and I get about eight hours on my skin. So this does have really nice performance as well. So that's my thought on Burlwood. A great introductory to the house as well if you wanted to kind of dip your toes into luxury natural perfumery. I think that's a gorgeous one to try now for the giveaway. So again, this is Burlwood. This was a gift with purchase when I purchased that bottle. And because this is a an atomizer, it doesn't have a box, I'm going to have to have this unfortunately be um, within the continental United States only. So this will not be an international giveaway. Do not worry though. I have a giveaway coming up with multiple bottles that will be an international giveaway, but this particular giveaway will only be for the United States. So I'm sorry for all my international subscribers, but if you would like to know um, how to enter, first and foremost, you must be a subscriber to my channel. Secondly, just comment below that you're entering the contest. That's it. Just Comment below that you're entering and be a subscriber to my channel. If you want to let me know a few words about if you like fragrances like this, or if you're excited to try something different, maybe you haven't tried anything like this and you're interested to dip your toes into woods and greens and spicy freshness and waxy, waxy leaves, um, that's fine too, but you don't have to do that. You just have to be a subscriber and enter. You have to enter by May 11th. So um, be a subscriber. Comment below that you're entering the contest. If you want to add a few more words, that's fine. You don't have to. And all must be done by May 11th. I will choose a winner sometime after May 11th. I usually do it a few days after. So anyway, good luck to everybody entering the contest. And if you've tried this fragrance or any other fragrances from House of Matriarch, I'd love to know what you guys think, positive or negative. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.